Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are back with an old one, the EMB200. This aircraft received an update today and it dawned on me I haven't flown this in so long and I remember having a great time with it the last time. So today we're going to take it back out, see what the update's all about and do some crop dusting. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, so jumping back into the cockpit of the EMB-200, this is a very tiny little plane. It's just like itty bitty living space, um, but it is a ton of fun to fly. I had a great time flying this aircraft the last time that I flew it um, and uh, always meant to get back into it and always forgot. And so today we are actually going to go do some crop dusting. We are in Casa Grande, Arizona. And between Casa Grande and Phoenix, there's quite a few different uh, patches of farmland. And uh, we're going to go help them out and uh, make sure they don't have anything that is unwanted in their uh, in their crops. So let's see here. Let me get my camera situated. There we go. All right. So first thing we're doing is we're going to click out our little tablet here. Let's set some views. So I'm going to use alt and the up arrow to move myself forward a little bit here. And then just up arrow by itself to move it around. And I think that's going to work for now. So we're going to do control alt and one once I right there. All right. To save that camera view and then let's get ourselves nice and close to the tablet. And let's do like a, we're going to do a control alt and three on this one. And now let's do one more. All right. Sorry. Kid said, made some snow globes and felt they had to come in and show me and I never miss those moments if I can avoid it. So let's set one more camera view for this right here. Control alt and two. And I think everything else with the head tracker we can comfortably get. So let's step back upstairs. Whoa, uh, how about that? And we're going to show the static elements. That's going to bring out everything from the ground side. Uh, let me make sure I'm actually where I belong. See, now I'm, this is what I do. This is what I do. And, and then I complain that I can't ever get myself comfortable. All right. So we're going to, I like the winglet. So I'm going to turn the winglets on here. There we go. I think they look cool, even for a tiny little plane like this. And then with the fill tank connected and the engine is off and the parking brake is on and the aircraft is fully stopped. Those three things. You can now click fill chemical tank and you saw that needle right there go all the way to full once the tank is depleted the needle will go down to zero and the red light will come on as well so from here we can go ahead and close that out the only other thing that we're going to do is we're going to check our weights and balances and we're going to make sure yep that the aircraft is in the center of gravity so to move it we literally just drag this put it where it belongs we want it between those two solid lines as much as possible and then just close that window. We're good there. That's all we needed from that. Okay, so, and actually, we've cleared that, so we need to bring our tablet back out, actually. And we need to hide the static elements. Set our tablet back down. And let's get our lovely lady started here. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure our fuel tank is selected. Make sure the fuel cutoff switch is down, if memory serves. I always, it's been a while, so bear with me on that one. Turn our battery on. Go ahead and turn that transponder on down there while we're at it. Alternator comes on. Nav lights and the beacon light. And fuel pump looks like is already on. I'm not quite sure why. Make sure our mixture is set to full rich. We don't have a prop to worry about on this one as far as, far as prop pitch. Crank the throttle all the way full forward. Make sure the fuel flow peaks. Once that's done, let's go ahead and bring it on back. Let's turn our fuel pump off. Then I'm just going to crack my throttle open about half an inch, give or take. Give it a crank and we should be able to get her up and run. Well, let's try that one more time. There she goes. Okay. And we're alive. Such a cool little airplane. Okay. And now let's set our barometric pressure. Make sure that our altimeter is set correctly. 
Make sure we are set to altitude reporting and VFR on our transponder. All looks good. And uh, we've got the windsock right in front of us, so it makes takeoff nice and easy. We're just going to come out uh, over here from the right. And let's go have some fun. Let's do some freaking crop dusting. By the way, so to release the actual chemical, you just pull this red lever here. We obviously don't want to do that now, and the, the lever will begin to dump. you got your flap handle right here behind it. Oh, and I was wrong. Fuel cutoff switch goes up, not down. Um, and uh, you can also use toggle wing lights as a key bind option. To bind a key to toggle wing lights. And uh, you guys will be good to go there as well. So let's go ahead and release that parking brake. There's our camera view centered again. And let's go have some fun. I'm really looking forward to this. Been a long time since I've flown this little guy. Shouldn't need any flaps for takeoff. We've got plenty of runway. Come on. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. You do not have a tailwheel lock on this aircraft, so keep that in mind. You want to be real careful as you start rotating. And uh, start rolling, I should say. Not rotating. I want to make sure we keep that nice and steady. Alright, let's put this guy back here. Beautiful day for it. Nice clear skies. And let's see what we got here. So let's go ahead and as we're making the turn, just flip that on. Jerry up in the tower, you know, the tower being the toolbox back there. Tool shed. Already uh, told me there wasn't any other traffic, so we can just go ahead and take the runway. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, don't do that. Always stop before you take the runway. But uh, we just knew, right? Okay, and if memory serves, we should get rotation right about 70 knots. Again, we are going to try to rotate without the use of flaps. I do not believe it's needed. Yes, I could check the checklist, but what fun is that? Sometimes you just got to take your chances. You understand? So we're going max power here, getting ourselves rolling down the runway here. Airspeed is alive, dancing on those rudders a little bit. Dancing, dancing. She wants to come left. She wants to come left. There's that teal wheel coming up off the ground. There's 70 knots, 80 knots. Come on, baby. Come up, come up, come up, come up. You got to pull quite a bit. That was my fault. I didn't give quite enough authority there and, and really let the aircraft know, hey, I want to get off the ground. So... Like I said, it's been a minute, so I wasn't pulling back quite as hard on the stick as I needed to to get her to respond, so it's totally fine. Easy peasy, all right? We're not going to go very high today. We're going to stick right around 2,000 feet. MSL. Try and dial that trim in. Let's pull some power back here. We don't need to be running that high. There we go. And uh, for crop dusting, max agricultural speed, we want to be right around 100 knots. And there's our beautiful farmland right out there, guys. So let's go ahead and start turning towards. This should be a bit of fun. This is kind of cool. Something completely different, man. And see, this is what we need for the fire bombers, man. We, we, need, we need ability to create some, some forest fire scenery and go in there and, and put them fires out. That's what I would love. I would love a good firebombing uh, operation. And especially if you could set it up where you had uh, your lead plane and, and then the bomber. That would be ridiculously cool. Alright, so let's see here. Our first call for the day here was the third patch on the right. There it is. Yeah, I sort of just made a list up for myself before we got into the cockpit here. We got two uh, two plots that we're going to do out here today. We're going to see if we have enough chemical to do it and if I can do it right. Let's uh, get our recording software rolling so that way we can check out how we did afterwards. So again, trying to maintain that 100 knots, I'm really high. I'm really high, so we're absolutely going to accelerate that speed. Um, I'm going to drop a little bit of flaps. And yes, that is too soon for that as well, but I got to slow down. That was my fault. Completely bad performance on me, but hey, we got to make sure we make our customers time. All right, so I'm going to try to line up here. You can tell we've already got a crosswind here a little bit. 
All right, pulling those flaps back now. We're more than within our range here. And coming in, third plot. Let's start and spray on with the Yuki. Maintain that speed. Nice and straight. Keep it good, keep it good, keep it good. And spray off. Get some altitude back up, put some power back in. Here we go, baby. Beautiful. And let's see how it did. Nice, there's that spray coming on. So here's the cool thing about the spray there, guys, is because it uses the toggle wing lights, uh, I use Sky Dolly for all of my recordings. Because it uses that toggle wing lights as the functionality, uh, that is recorded within Sky Dolly. So as you can see, it, it uh, records that spray just perfectly. Beautiful, beautiful. And it looks like we got plenty of spray, so we're gonna come back around. Bring some power in. I don't know what kind of turn radius we should be pulling with these kind of aircraft, but she seems to be handling it just fine. Get back on our track. Oof. Oh, baby, come on. Ah! This poor, uh, this poor farmer's like, why did I hire this guy? Oh my gosh, look at that. Come on, we can get back on track. Here we go, here we go. Okay, I got this, I got this, I promise I got this. There we go, all right, spray on. Nice and steady. And spray off. I think I just doused some kid on a bicycle. How <laughs> messed up would that be, right? <laughs> Alright, always good times. So I think we got one more pass that we gotta make over that last one there. Alright, let's see if we can do a little bit better on that approach because that was pretty awful. Come on, get control of it, Mike. Get control of it. It's definitely, definitely different flying this one. Power off. It also also kind of weird managing the control, the recording software, and all right, spray on. And spray off. Rotating back out. All right, well, we had some good times. We drained our tank. I lost a bunch of the audio for the last drop, so unfortunately we uh, we lost that. I muted my microphone to talk to one of my little ones and forgot to unmute it, so that's all right. You guys saw enough, it was fun. So now we're just gonna try to bring it back home. Oh crap, I should probably turn my lights back on. Ah! Stop it!
bit of a crosswind. Should be interesting. she gets squirrely with that tailwheel. Yeah, buddy. Ha, come on. I've seen a lot of planes with this recently where you have to use like some serious differential braking to make them work correctly. It's really kind of annoying. Alright, my friends. Well, that is going to wrap up our little uh, extravaganza today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I certainly did. It was a ton of fun today. Um, it, again, just adding something... Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. I'm just going to park it over here. Look at me. He's standing like, where the hell are you going? Anyway, um, it's just another way to sort of, you know, add some immersion to the sim, add a different experience. Go up and give it a shot, guys. Give the plane a try. It's a lot of fun. It's certainly worth the amount of money that it is. If I remember correctly, it's not particularly expensive. Uh, we can actually take a look at that real quick. I'll tell you what. We'll just do that real fast. Let's, let's do so. So let's see here. We are looking for the EMB 200 for MSFS. There it is, the sim market. And let's see here. How much is she? 18 euros. So, you know, call it 20 bucks. Call it even. Um, but uh, absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Ton of fun. Gives you something different to do outside of just flying from point A to point B. Find some area around your town that has a bunch of crop fields and things like that. And go do some crop dusting. I promise you'll have a good time with it. Let yourself get into the immersion of it. As always, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and healthy. And I will see you in the next one.